If you hear the um, people cutting grass in the background, I apologize, but we're going to start off this video by saying Seasons may be returning in 2K24. As you can see by the leaks, you know, he was talking about how he's going to be in 2K24 in November, and 2K24 doesn't drop in November, so obviously the only thing that makes sense would be that there's Seasons and his animation is dropping in Season 2. So that's a hint at Seasons returning. Ronnie already hinted at the city returning. If you guys want a full video on 2K24 stuff and all 2K24 stuff we know, then just drop a like on this video. Drop a sub if you're new. It's very much appreciated. As you guys can see on the screen, I'm popping up all the stuff for Season 8. And honestly, it's pretty much as you would expect it to be. You know, it's nothing crazy. And honestly, this whole year, we've gotten nothing crazy. The only good thing that I could actually say they gave us maybe was the mascots. We maybe had a couple other good seasons, but like even the mascots for me isn't even something I want to grind for because I've already had them in like three previous 2Ks. So honestly, next year, if seasons are returning, they need to be changed hugely. I honestly think they just need to be thrown out the game because I'm so tired of these rewards, the transportation stuff. You know, being able to hit level 40 in one to two days, I just really think seasons need to go. But let me know in the comments, what's your opinions on the season eight rewards, 2K24 having seasons and just seasons in general. Obviously, if there was a lot better rewards, I would say that seasons are good. But, you know, I'm not going to give 2K the chance the third year just to give us good rewards with the seasons. He said he was going to do that this year. I feel like at this point, you might as well just throw it away because it wasn't executed right and needs to go.